Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at organizing your emails in Gmail using labels. Labels in Gmail are really what you might expect to be called folders. But one of the key differences between labels and folders is that emails can have more than one label. In effect, meaning they're in more than one place at the same time. So let's just understand to beginning how Gmail works. So here we have our inbox. Now the inbox is technically a label in and of itself. We don't see this anywhere at this point, but it is a label. If I click on more, I can actually go down to all mail. And that is where I can see all my emails without any labels. And here you can see the inbox label applied to certain emails. So if I go back to my emails, I can then create labels and then organize my emails. And again, there's a few different ways of doing this. One of the simplest ways of doing this is by ticking the email, and then we'll see our tools appear across the top. If I click on this icon here where it says labels, I can then to choose to apply an existing label or to create a new one. So I'm just gonna call this one Daniel. Whenever I create a label, I also get another option called nest label under. This is like creating a subfolder. So if I wanted to create a sub label, I can tick that and then choose my parent. I haven't got any yet. So let's just untick that and create. So now you can see that this has the label Daniel on it. You can also see the label over here on the left hand side. Now this email, as you can see, is currently still in the inbox as well as having the label on it. So that means it's in two places at the same time. If I click on the label itself, I can then see the email and see the inbox label still applied to it. Let's go back to our inbox. If I actually want to move the email out of my inbox, I can tick it and then I can click the move to option and then choose the label. If for example, I had an email that didn't have a label, so let's tick the one below, and then I click move to and chose the label, it would apply the label and move it at the same time. So you can see my email is now in here. Another option we have, if I tick it, if it's already got a label, I can just click archive and that will move it. Or lastly, what I can do is I can drag and drop it into my label and that will also therefore move it out of the inbox and apply the label at the same time. So if I want to have more than one label, I can again create another one. So I'm going to call this one classroom, create new. And so this has applied that. If I wanted to apply another label, I could click Daniel apply. So you can see I'm having multiple labels and that email is in multiple locations. Now next to my labels on the left hand side, you can see these three dots. If I click on the three dots, one of the key features I get here is to apply a label color. I can choose from one of these or add a custom color. If I click on this, you can see there the label is highlighted in that color as well as here. And this just helps certain labels stand out more than others. If I wanted to, I can also click on here and edit the label. Now this is where I showed you earlier about the nesting. I could do this and put this under Daniel, click save, and you can see there it's then added that naming convention to that label. And I can see it as a subfolder or a sub label over here on the left hand side. Lastly, if I do want to edit my labels, another way of doing that is going into the settings option, click seal settings. And there is a labels tab here. And so I can see all the different labels. So you can see all of these are actually labels. And then the ones I've created down the bottom. And so here I can also create new labels, edit them or remove them. If I do remove a label, then that removes it off of that email. You can see that has now disappeared. And so for those emails that are no longer applied a label to, and they're no longer in the inbox, that's where I go into my all mail and we'll be able to find those emails again. So hopefully this has given you some helpful tips on how to organize your inbox using labels.